Welcome back to the channel. Gaming News Weekly is today, 1 p.m. Central Time. Make sure y'all there. We got to talk about all the gaming news this week. It's going to be great. But y'all looking at the screen that I'm looking at. Delta Force, Black Hawk Down. So I seen some news. It's, it's some rumor news. And I, I don't think it's actual news yet. That THQ Nordic and the original team is remaking Delta Force Black Hawk Down. And this is a game, as a kid, I love the fuck out of this game. This is the game I played instead of Call of Duty, bro. I played Black Hawk Down so fucking much as a kid, especially on PlayStation 2. Come on now, bro. We were cooking on this game. One of the best shooters I've ever played. But then I found out that Black Hawk Down was actually a trash game. It, I'm like, what? So... <laughs> Black Hawk Down was actually a trash game. That is crazy. It got a 58 on Metacritic. One of my favorite shooters of all time. I didn't fucking know it was a bad game. This is this is why I'm happy I grew up in a time where you played games and enjoyed them. You didn't you didn't hear about Metacritic scores. You didn't hear fucking critic reviews about games at, growing up back then because technology wasn't that big. Now every Every gamer growing up now is only hearing what the public thinks of their games and they're judging the game off of that. That is a sad reality to live in. That now Metacritic is what makes the game good. Because you see the user score is 8.7. That means every nigga like me that played this game in the past probably loved the fuck out of Black Hawk Down and never knew it was bad. But then you see 25 critics, bro, has a 58 on Metacritic. I'm getting this fucking remake when it comes out. I'm getting the fucking game, and I'm playing the shit out of it. It's not like I'm not. I remember this game to my core, bro. The movie was fucking crazy, too. The, like, this game was, like, based on... This game's campaign was based on the movie, Black Hawk Down, which the movie was fucking wild, bro. And this game was amazing. And it's a 58 of it. I can't believe that shit, bro. This is, like, it's, it's kind of crazy when you... When you actually look back on childhood games that you really fucking liked and like remakes of those games, hopefully this game is good. I hear that Tencent has got their hands in it. So it's going to be Tencent and THQ Nordic teaming up to remake this game. I mean, hopefully it's as good as the original. Oh my gosh, I can't even say that because it's a 50 fucking 8 on Metacritic. But who cares? Because that game was fucking good to me. That game was fun. Just like Conflict. I don't know who the fuck made conflict games. You didn't know about developers back in the day. I don't know who made the conflict shooter games. To like co-op shooters where each of y'all control two of a military team of four. That shit was an amazing game. Why are those games dead? Maybe because Call of Duty rose up. But uh, those games were brilliant, bro. They were amazing. And it's a 58. I saw that shit and I'm like, there's no fucking way. Everything I remember about my childhood just changed. Actually, it didn't because I don't fucking care about Metacritic scores. I play games because I like them. But 58 is crazy for a game that good. I want to play this game nowadays just to really see what it was like. Because I remember it being a peak-ass game, bro. I had my friends come over and we was in a project. I had my friends come over. We playing Black Hawk Down and smoking shit. Nigga, enjoying ourselves. This is crazy. 2005 was a different time. Damn. But yeah, I'm gonna end this right here. So thank y'all for watching. Like, subscribe if you're new. Let me know if y'all played Blackout Down back in the day, bro. And uh, I'll see y'all in the next video.